the timestamp. Three, Dippy Tanzo. Um, how's it going? Hey, good. Like, nice Zizhkov chill. A Zizhkov chill. Yeah, so, so when you're improvising and you are kind of kind of creating language in the moments, like how do you use the environments? Like what parts are you picking up on to kind of be dynamic in that moment? Um, again, it, it depends on, uh, on the kind of event and the environment because sometimes it's just stage and there is really nothing to use. So I uh, interact with the audience more. I pick up more words. Like I, um, it's difficult for me to hold improvise, uh, improvisation for many minutes straight without anything, like with closed eyes, it's uh, difficult. So I look for some new impressions that I can take and try to connect them somehow. Like I think that my improvs are mostly about connecting random stuff, finding uh, some metaphors that can stick them together and I need some kind of interaction to do that and do do you do this when you like I don't know do you write <laughs> or do you just produce in the moment I uh, also write and it's something it's something different like uh, I I think that if I like wrote my improv on paper it wouldn't be a really good poem its strength is uh, that the audience can feel that it's uh, it's just happening, it's just being created, so it doesn't have to be that good. When I write, I, um, I'm more perfectionist and uh, it's uh, way more difficult for me. Sometimes it's really, really difficult for me to just sit down and write. That's why I do improvs, because sometimes during improvs, during the stress, I get an idea that I can later use when I write. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, so do you enjoy improvising more than writing on paper? Yes. Yes. Because of all of those extra images and feelings and environments? It, improvising is, uh, it's like bungee jumping and writing is a painful creative process where, when I have to face myself and it's just me and me and uh, the other me says this is bullshit and uh, when I'm writing I can't say it was improvised like uh, it, it doesn't have to be that good because it, it was improvised. Now it's me saying, but this is on paper and it has to be fucking good. And uh, it's, it's painful to deal with this. Mm. So it's almost like uh, it's a cheat code. Like when you're performing, cause you're like, you know, it was improvised. So it wasn't uh, as good as it could be on paper, but at the same time, it's more organic and it's more kind of real and using the environment as part of the piece, yeah? Yes. Um, what do you think the role of the audience is for, like, a poetry reading, a language happening? Um, what would your ideal audience be, actually, maybe, if you were to perform a piece? Like, their role is uh, essential. Like, without them, it, what would it be? It would be just, like, you reading your pieces to yourself and nothing really happens. So, ideal audience is uh, one that is interested, interacts, it, it doesn't have to be really like interacts in a good way, if the audience doesn't like something, uh, they, it can be allowed. Well, thanks for sitting and talking with me. Uh, Hansa, it's been really nice. Also talking about just context of language and, and, and everything. So thanks a lot. Thank you.